संस्कार सभी लोग अपने अपने घरों पर सकुशल होंगे तथा घर से बाहर नहीं निकल रहे होंगे ऐसी मेरी आशा है आप में से कुछ छात्रों ने फ़ोन करके मुझे बताया कि सर ब्रेन के पार्ट्स और उसके फंक्शंस थोड़ा बता दें ज़्यादा बेटर है तो आज हम फिर से दोबारा से स्टार्ट करता हूँ ब्रेन ह्यूमन ब्रेन हैज़ बेसिकली थ्री पार्ट्स फोर ब्रेन मिड ब्रेन एंड हैंड ब्रेन एज यू कैन सी दिस फोर ब्रेन हैव स्पेशली टू पार्ट्स दैट इज हाइपोथेलेमस एज वेल एज द सेरिब्रम मीन्स मेनली देर डिफरेंट अदर पार्ट्स बट मेन द फंक्शन ऑफ दिस टू पार्ट्स इज कैन बी सीन और इज कैन बी आस्क इन इन एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एज वेल एज द मिड ब्रेन दिस इज द पार्ट ब्रेन एज वेल एज दिन ब्रेन हिन ब्रेन एज द थ्री पार्ट दैट इज पॉन्स सेरिब्रम एंड मेडोला ओबलिंगाटा दीज आर द थ्री डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द ह्यूमन ब्रिंग्स ब्रेन एंड दिस ब्रेन इज ऑलवेज protected because it is very delicated organ in our body so it should be protected by different um, morphological parts generally if we talk about the morphology of this brain that is at least it is an soft and whitish organ it has a white color and very soft and if we talk about the weight of brain that is 1.2 to 1.4 kg means at least <coughs> we can say 98 percent of the weight of the whole CNS central nervous system is that is brain, right? And it this brain has hundred billions neurons means it this brain has the nerve cells or the neurons more than hundred billions and it is always surrounded by a uh, different membranes that is called Mannings which can be always help for the protection means outer sides it can be protected by the skull because this bony part <coughs> can always cover our brain which can always help for the production as well as the vertebral column or the uh, our spinal cord can be protected by the vertebra our back bone can always help to protect the spinal cord in another way if we talk about how whenever we can jump whenever we can get any shocks Uh, during running or during falling down it this brain these membranes can also help for the protector because there is a fluid that is called cerebrospinal fluid cerebrospinal fluid which is filled in between the three membrane of the meninges due to which there is no shock can be take in our brain means this fluid can capable uh, to absorb all the shocks with the help of this fluid material and this meninges have the three layers that is called pita mater second one diameter and the aracnoid these are different layers but if we talk about only the functions of this part because generally we have to know about the function of these all three parts yes this if we talk about the function of the forebrain means the first part of forebrain that is the cerebrum cerebrum basically help for the thinking of all things means it can always acts for the thinking as well as the it can also help for the control of the voluntary actions in our body and this cerebrum can also stores the informations means it can also uh, for our memory means how we can capable to memorize the different things for a long period of time means if we are learning the function of brains we can learn them at least two or three months because without revision revision so because of the cerebrum and this is the organ which can receive the sensory impulses from the various body parts and integrated it means generally all the sense organs can always found over there means the different lobes all the olfactory lobes and the sensory uh, and uh, we can say the occipital auditory gustatory and photoreceptors are found over there means it can always help to get 
all the senses means all the sense organs can provide the message to the cerebrum after that analyzing of those things it can be give the its results to do the different works the second part of the forebrain that is the hypothalamus hypothalamus as we all know that is a gland also but it can also help uh, to control sleep and wake cycle of our body means whenever we have to sleep whenever to awake whenever to move such type cycles can be also controlled with the help of hypothalamus as well as it also controls the urge of eating and drinking means whenever we can feel that we are thirsty it means that that urge is comes from the hypothalamus and whenever we are hungry we ask for food we want to eat something we want to drink something for that the, the brain part that is called hypothalamus is responsible for that then the second part of the brain which is called the midbrain generally midbrain does not plays a very important role but it is very important because it can provide the connectivity between the forebrain and the hindbrain means it connects the forebrain and hindbrain but on the other hand this can capable to control the motor movement of the particularly movement of the eyes means this can always help for the control the muscular movements we can say but especially it can acts in our ear as well as in our eyes means their motor movements means according to this surrounding environment will change it can be just move it can be our eyes can be immediately move to the directions where we are getting the sound suppose we are uh, just move on a road and we can hear a sudden sound we our eyes gently move over there so such type of movement can be controlled with the help of our mid brain then the last part of uh, the brain that is called the hind brain and this hind brain can plays a very important role because it has a different parts like the medulla pons and cerebellum we remember in forebrain there is a cerebrum and in the hind brain there is a cerebellum so there is a, sometimes it can be asked in in different categories next the function of the hind brain is that the first part of uh hind brain that is medulla we can say it can responsible for the involuntary movement or involuntary functions what are involuntary function means the different functions on which which cannot be controlled by ourselves means which are not according to our desire simply we can say the different functions which cannot be according to our desire means on which we cannot show any specific control of our owns for example breathing we can <coughs> not control our breathing right as well as vomiting as you know by certain time you can just give this vomiting or sneezing as well as means these are the involuntary functions these are controlled or done or uh, occurs because of the medulla then the function of the pons that is these pons can always help in the swallowing means whenever we take some food or substance in our body we can, <coughs> it can be <coughs> with the help of this as well as this uh, pons can also help for the facial exp experiences means all the facial exp experiences means we can so by suppose we are very sad our mood is in at a time indirectly we can say the, it can control our moods right means whenever we are very happy there is some special type of expressions in our face but we are suppose we are sad there is a different kinds of as well means these can we also control with the help of a brain part that is called the pons then the last and most important part of the brain that is called cerebellum means this is responsible for the voluntary actions voluntary actions means which are under our control according to our desire suppose we want to sit like straight suppose we don't want to sit we want to lay down 
means such type of postures these this is called the voluntary action means basically cerebellum it can always help for the controlling of the voluntary actions means without the voluntary action without the cerebellum the different kind process cannot be done suppose uh, we talk about the different actions like the posture balance this and coordination in speech means how we are showing our actions with the help of uh, our uh, tongue means whenever a person can always speak then he can also show some specific type of action with their fingers with their uh, hands means these expressions can also control with the help of cerebellum means while you are cycling while you are balancing while you are moving on the road you can always move in a balanced sides so these all kinds of functions can be controlled with the help of our cerebellum so this way this is the topic about related to the functions of the brain then sometime very important questions from this part this topic that is the difference between the cerebrum and the cerebellum so you can note down if we talk about the cerebellum and cerebellum so cerebellum it is a part of the forebrain and the cerebellum part of the hindbrain cerebellum the largest part constituting 80% of the brain but cerebellum is the smaller it can constitute only 12.5% of the brain the cerebrum forms the front superior lateral side of the brain if it seen the diagram of the brain which i have shown in uh, starting <coughs> this cerebrum is always forms the front superior and lateral side of the brain but if we talk about the cerebellum cerebrum in the <coughs> cerebrum lies in the posterior region of the brain cerebrum it can always has two parts called cerebral hemisphere but the cerebellum has two lateral cerebellar hemisphere and one central cerebellum means cerebellum has two parts but cerebellum has three parts means cerebellum has a two lateral cerebellar hemisphere and one cerebral vermis in other hand the cerebrum has two cavities called lateral ventricles but the cerebellum has no cavities means there is cavities are always absent then cerebrum cerebrum is the seat of the intelligence and the memory means it is responsible for the memory as well as the intelligence means how much we are intelligent means it can depends on our cerebellum but cerebrum can coordinates the muscles activity means as i have told you that it can be always so sub actions balancing postures then cerebrum controls movement speech sight smell taste hearing intelligence means i have told you that all the sense organs are responsible for the different functions which can be always controlled with the help of cerebrum and the maintenance of the equilibrium of the body means balancing of the body that can be controlled with the help of the cerebellum so students you must prepare about the functions of the uh, this brain means without functioning of brain so, so many times it is very important questions for in point of view of your examinations especially in point of view of your board examinations so you can start your study and prepare the notes also and if any problem you can ask me on the same channel